Hi everyone. If you feel that your Windows desktop is a little dull and want to freshen it up, then you might consider using this rain meter skin to give it a fresh new look. Trust I see and I find in you. Some of you might already think that this skin has the look and feel of the Google Pixels widgets. And guess what? You are right. This minimalist skin is designed with Material U, the latest version of Google's Material Design, which is used to design the Pixel Phone's widgets. So if you are interested in using this desktop skin, please continue watching this video till the end. All right, to use this skin, you will need three things. First, you will need to have RainMeter, a free open source Windows desktop customization tool. Then you will need a RainMeter skin called MD3 Windows. And lastly, you might also want to have a desktop background image that matches the skin's color tone, like the one I have here. Okay, to install RainMeter, open your web browser and search for RainMeter. Click the link to rainmeter.net at the top of the search results. On the RainMeter's homepage, simply click Download to download the RainMeter installer. Once successfully downloaded, click the setup file and then simply follow the instructions on the setup wizard. When RainMeter is launched for the first time, it will automatically load a Lustro, the sample skin that comes with RainMeter. We don't need this skin, so we just unload all these widgets by right-clicking each of them, and then click Unload. In addition, RainMeter will also be automatically added to the system tray for quick access. All right, now I need to get the MD3 Windows skin from its repository at github.com. So go back to your web browser, and search for GitHub MD3-Windows. Click the topmost search result, and you should be brought to this GitHub page. Scroll down and look for these download links. As you can see here, it offers a premium version and a free basic version. The premium version has more widgets, including a stylish start menu and a custom system tray, which are not available on the basic version. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna download the basic version. Once successfully downloaded, open your download folder and you should find a zip file named MD3 Windows Basic. Extract this zip file. Open the extract folder and then simply double click the RM skin file to start the installation. On the RainMeter skin installer window, simply click install. Once successfully installed, if you have gone for the basic version, you should immediately see this widget. Simply click Done to show the Skin Settings widget. Alright, now let's customize this MD3 skin from the Settings widget, and we'll start from the Widgets and Styles. So here you can choose all the widgets that you want to add to your desktop. Let's start with the clock. Choose the clock style you prefer by clicking the Style button once. This Style button is a toggle button, so clicking it one more time will unload or close the selected widget. For this demo, I'll use Clock Style 7. Now right-click the widget, Select Variants, and then choose whether you want the dark mode or the light mode. After that, you can drag the widget to your preferred location. Alright, you can repeat the same steps to add other widgets. Okay, now let's add the taskbar skin. If you want to place this taskbar at the bottom of your desktop, you should make the native Windows taskbar auto hide. All right, so that's all we can get from the basic version. The start menu, power menu, and the tools menu are only available on the premium version. Okay, now let me show you how to configure the music, weather, and events widgets so that they work or show the desired information. Let's start with the music widget so that you can use it to control a media player. For the basic version, unfortunately though, this music widget only supports WebNow Playing plugin, so you can only control the media playing on your web browser, such as those on YouTube, Netflix, Spotify, and etc. To use this music widget with the WebNow Paying plugin, you will need to add WebNow Playing extension to your Chrome-based browser. So open your web browser, go to the Chrome Web Store, and search for WebNow Playing. Add this extension to your web browser. 
Once successfully added, click the Web Now Playing extension and you should see that it's automatically connected to your rain meter. Now open YouTube and play a video. So YouTube launched three Then go back to your desktop about and you should be able now, to use the music widget to control the YouTube's video don't player. Work properly, at least for me. As then to configure the weather widget, right click the widget, select custom skin actions, and then click edit weather variables. You will need to replace these latitude and longitude values with those of your location. To do that, open Google Map, right click on your location, and then click the latitude and longitude values at the top of the context menu. Now go back to the weather variables file and then paste the copied values on the current latitude value. Cut the longitude component and then paste it on the longitude value. After that, save this file and then refresh the weather widget. And for the events widget, we basically do the same steps. You will need to change the language and culture components of the Google Calendar 1's value to your language and culture. For example, let me change it to English language and Japanese culture. Now I'll save this file and then refresh the events widget. All right, another thing that I want to show you here is how to fix the start menu and the system tray buttons that might not work. If you set up your Windows PC using Microsoft account, but you use it using local account, it's likely that your personal folders are put inside your OneDrive folder and hence causing the start menu button to fail like mine here. To fix this issue, right click the taskbar skin and then click Edit Skin. On the Taskbar Skin Settings, press Ctrl F on the keyboard and then search for User Profile. On the first match, add backslash OneDrive right after the User Profile. Then move to the next match and do the same thing. Once done, save the file and you may also close the Notepad altogether. Then refresh the Taskbar widget. And now the two buttons should work properly. All right, so that's how easy it is to customize your Windows desktop with MD3 Windows Skin. Should you find that Rain Meter consumes too much of your CPU resource, you may try unloading some of the resource-hungry widgets. Avoid using Classic Clock Widget as it tends to consume too much CPU resource. And if after trying it out you feel like you want to remove it altogether, you can just uninstall Rain Meter from your PC. Click the Start Menu button, type Rain Meter, and then click Uninstall. On the Installed Apps window, search for Rain Meter. Click the three dots on the right of the app name and then click Uninstall. After that, simply follow the guided instructions to completely remove Rain Meter and all the skins you have installed before. Alright, I hope you find this tutorial useful and thank you for watching.